My name is Liam Caddison, and I am the last Orcellian in existence. For me, the last thing I remember is a war that I ended. A war that saw me become a demon. A war that I have to live with for the rest of my life. The planet that I am from is nothing but ashes, along with the people that live there. My family, loved ones and friends are now dead all because of my actions. Now I have to live with the guilt of my actions and try to become a better man than I was during the war. But to do this, I have to keep my past a mystery to me as much as I can and become someone else. I must become a hero. Liam Caddison and Bella McCatty in The Caddison Chronicles Series 1, Episode 1 The First Chapter Written by Liam Caddison Yeah, Jodie, I would love that if you got me the food now. I just had to see you to an emergency with the family. Thank you, it means a lot. Jodie, I have to go. Sorry, another emergency has come up. I'll speak to you later. Bye! <coughs> that hurts like hell! Oh, it's a good thing that my ship's gonna repair itself. Oh, now, where the hell am I and how exactly did I get here? <sighs> oh yes, I remember. I tragically remember. My people all wiped out because of me. All I remember was ending the war and blowing up my planet. All my people, all my family and friends, they're all gone. And I wish I could go back and save the ones I loved. I'm surprised I've never begun regenerating through all the war and incidents that I've been under. This looks like planet Earth. No idea where I'm exactly at. But judging by the breeze itself, I can safely assume we're north of this planet. Now. Oh god, no! Oh no, this isn't good! Oh, she's not healthy! I'm locked out! Oh, the old god ain't let me in! The orbis took so much damage, it's entered severity mode! That means I'm stuck here. Stuck on this planet with ordinary species for the time being. I guess I could be thankful she landed in a bit of a disguised area. These trees and shrubs might do me some justice just yet. I don't even know why I'm speaking out loud. It's not like anyone is listening to... Oh. Uh, hi. Is what you just said true? I don't wish to bring any harm, honest. Contact your officials as much as you want, but I am not here to invade or conquer or anything like that. I was just flying around in my ship and it just happened to crash and... And I'm stuck here. No, it's fine. I mean, wow, this is actually amazing. Who are you? Well, that would be telling. Besides, I'm going to pop off after I'm done waiting for my ship to restore. But I want to know your name. You speak like you're an alien, but you look human. Yeah, I am an alien. Why are you telling me for? I could send your data to our government. We'll be after you like a pack of hounds. Because... By the time you contact them, one of two things will happen. I will be gone by the time you contact them, but since my ship is obviously busted at the moment, I can't really do that. So, that brings me to the second option. The removal of your memory. I might have to take some drastic measures into knocking you out, but by the time you wake up, you'll just have assumed you've had too much to drink. Well, I am not an official, so don't worry. I never said I was worried. I knew you were just a typical civilian of Earth. But my name is Liam Caddison, and I am a time traveller. This is a typical name for an alien. I'm starting to have some hard belief into your supposed alien revelation. The name origin means nothing on my world. Just because your planet has a common name doesn't mean any other planets can't adopt the same. So where you're from, is there a Sarah? I don't know, not that I know of. It's 
It's not like I'm never going to go again. What do you mean? Once your ship is restored, you can go back, right? No. I can never go back. Ever again. How come? Did you do something? Yeah, but... Not like any of that matters now. I'm just going to go for a bit of a scroll. I may as well since I'm stuck here. Where are we, may I ask? Durham, United Kingdom, 2016. Interesting. Well, thank you for your service. I'll see you about possibly. Wait, you're ditching me. Well, you have your life to look forward to. A nice coffee watching the television with your partner, a job to look forward to, the future itself. And whilst you do that, I will be involved in dangerous situations that the simple human mind cannot begin to fathom. I have no problems. I actually want to find out more about you. This discovery is amazing and I want to keep it a secret. All my life I haven't really had much to live for, but now I do. I am the only human who has met a time-travelling alien, and on that subject... I know what you're about to say. And have to respectfully decline. Look, I can imagine you're a kind person and all, and I appreciate that, but... I'm having some personal problems myself, and I was about to take a long vacation on the planet of paradise. I'm sorry, it's just my life is messed up to the point of hell, and I don't want to drag your life into hell. Something bad happened, and all I want to do is put it behind me. Well, do you know how long you're going to be stuck here? At least a day. Maybe longer, depending on how much damage was caused. Well, I do own a house for myself. You can stop the night if you want. You've just encountered a weird man you have not even known for like ten minutes and suddenly you invite me to stop over? You don't strike me as some form of monster or madman. Like you said, you're popping off after this. But what if I killed you during the night? What if this is all a hoax and I am just putting you in danger? If you don't want to stay, that's fine. I am just trying to be something this world is afraid to show. Compassion. <laughs> I like your attitude. I was going to say I accept your offer, but sleep may not be an option for me. My sleeping patterns are distant. Well, there is a TV, a couple of DVDs and a computer for you to use if you get bored. Don't worry, I plan to do a lot of exploring. Ah! Ah! Oh! What's happening? Oh! Hungry! God damn it! Oh! Being out cold in that ship for so long. Oh! I've woken up with a serious craving. I hope you don't mind me asking if I can have something to eat. Of course oh. not. I want to help out. Uh. Though I don't have much, but my friend is getting the shopping for me. She should be about an hour or so. Oh, that isn't enough. At this rate, I'll be worse agony than before. Ugh. Well, if you come to mine, I might have a few foods you could blend together. I don't suppose the normal meals will be adequate for you. Just anything to satisfy me until your friend comes back, I guess. Not like human consumption is strange to me. I've been here before, but not in a long time. Ugh. I have some cauliflower, <sighs> broccoli and cheese, <sighs> and milk to drink if you want. That or water. Actually, mix them together. Ugh. What? Like you said, the average human consumption is not exciting enough. If you feel sick because of this, not only will I kill you for wasting my resources for a Sunday dinner, but also don't blame me for something you suggested. Fine. Where do you live? Conveniently around the corner. Brothers. Sisters. We have finally arrived. What is the plan, leader? We don't attack first as part of the normal regime. We attack once enough numbers have covered this planet. Our first place to world domination is to merge with the species of this planet. We have been allocated a template to morph into. If you are not comfortable with the template, you have or want to change freely. I have to remind you that all you can extract their data sample by merely touching them. Trigger the template whenever you think it is best. But the longer you hold in their DNA, the worse the decay of their dismated template will be. Especially with human. Sir, the next ship is in close range. Then mark the positioning for them to land next to us, and tell them to wait for my authority. 
if need be, will start the plan prematurely. I want this squad to spread out around the nearest city, and this squad to be dispersed across the world. Yes, sir. Sir, another amount of energy has emerged. Another form of alien. You'll come with me then, and we'll investigate. Do we have secret hideout on land? Above the sewers? Yes, sir. Excellent. Use that as a trap for the species. I will not have anyone ruin our plans. Mm. Mm, thank you. This is the best. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I do, and it seems to be appealing to my hunger. Seems like your friend doesn't need to feed me after all, but... Thank you. You're a lifesaver. People have always seemed to disregard my personality and just assume I wasn't cool enough to know. I've not really had a social life. I mean, there is Jodie, and she is one of the only people who really cares about me and its odd family. Humans. They're ignorant. What is different? No offence. I am not offended. In fact, at times, I think the same. Especially in this country. The Prime Minister has acted even dodgier since his recent election. Who is he? Richard Davis. I mean, he has a kind of personality, usually, but ever since his election, he's become a bit sinister. Possibly due to the fact that he looks like a typical leader of a country? Something isn't right. As if it is silently calling us that something is wrong. That isn't our Prime Minister. Then, what is he? I don't know. Some kind of clone or shapeshifter. I doubt it, but it may be a possibility. Anyways, I'm going out for a bit. I need to kill some time whilst my ship repairs itself. Maybe I should explore Durham. Seems a bit exotic. Sarah, it's just unreal. Hey, what's up? I've just seen someone exactly the same as me. Same face, clothes, everything. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, I never realized you had company over. Oh, I was on my way out of here anyways. I'm just a guest staying whilst my home is getting repaired. I will see you later. Is he your boyfriend? Ew, no! <laughs> you should be. Seems attractive enough. But yeah, I have a picture of the person who looked exactly like me. Look. Well, she does. Are you sure you didn't take this yourself and you're not just trying to trick me? Do you think I would be panicking if this was a trick? Sarah, I am honestly scared. What the hell is going on? You all still here? Seeing humanity enjoy themselves. <sighs> Pains me. Uh, what's that? Let's have a look. Waste? Alien waste? No. Well, this will be a good time for the Orbis to be working. Guess we're gonna have to go with the old fashioned route investigation. <coughs> now, I'm no expert in Earth sewers, but I don't recall if sewers were meant to be covered in alien waste. smell is vile, but at least I have a better idea where this waste is coming from. Hissing? Yeah, there is someone down here. Hello? I am help! If you are in trouble, I can help out! I'm coming!
Buddy's out cold. A benefit, I suppose. But who's tricking Buddy's down here? Oh, come out! I can see your shadow! Oh, hello. Now, you and you, I can gather that. Now, you do not need to growl at me. I am just someone who wants to know what the hell is going on. I am not going to kill you. Who are you? Answer! We are the Egorian. I can't say I've heard of your species before. Liar! My scans indicate you are an Australian. Congratulations, but I am out of prizes for you to take home. Your people destroyed my planet. Uh, my people weren't really the kindest race out there, but I was. As much as I could be anyways. Whatever they did to your planet wasn't down to my agreement. Why is this innocent female here? She knew our secret. What secret? That we are shape changers. We can morph into humanity. In my experience, shapeshifters have caused nothing but bother, so whatever you are up to, drop it. We won't rest until our plan is fulfilled. But first, you must die. <laughs> Wait, where am I? I was being kidnapped last thing I remember. This is the opposite. A rescue. A rescue? Oh, <laughs> thank you. We're not out of the woods yet. Get up and climb to the surface, quickly! There you go. Wow. I mean, thank you so much. I thought I was going to die. That is something I cannot allow. Now you're safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. There you are. What do you mean? Well, I thought you'd be close. We have a ministry and you weren't there. I thought you ditched me. Well, the important thing to know about me is that my feet can take me to the bottom of your country. Besides, I found something dangerous in your city. And I need to find out what the Argorians are up to. The what? There is another species on this planet too? Beneath your roads and paths in the sewers, I saw an alien that can morph into any human without effort called the Argorian, and I need to find out their plans. That female I just rescued was a target that a lone Argorian kidnapped, and I just happened to stop it. So, how do we find that? I'll need a better idea on what these creatures want with their arrival here. It isn't good whatever it is, but I'll just have to investigate further. Meanwhile, you need to pop off home, away from the drama and threat. If these creatures can morph into anyone without struggle, then you could find yourself being duplicated. Go home, put your feet up and enjoy life. But I am sure it is not that bad. Sarah, please. My life is full of deep threats, and I don't want to be responsible for your death. Now I have to go. Now this will be one of the stations to maintain the main one, wherever that is, but these being linked so closely to each other's substation indicates that it's somewhere close by. Hmm. Let's have a look. Blueprints? Computers powered by water? map of this world. Whatever the Argorians are up to, I do not like the look of it. Stay where you are. What do you want? Answer me now! We want the conquest of Earth with the most logical ability to that. The trouble of identification with our abilities to mold in with the public. The problem is, I cannot allow that. It is too late for you to do anything now, Liam. The conquest is already forming into our plans, and we have Algorian allies all over the world. I may come off a bit brash with this comment, but I can stop you. I may be young and it may be the concussion speaking, but I found a solution to your problems. Right now, you and your Argorian people stand no chance of conquest. This world is not causing any damage to you, so what is the problem? Your war. So this is redemption for your people. And you are the remaining members of the Argorian faction, now looking for a planet to inhabit. 
But there is one problem with your planet, and it's a massive one. But there are so many planets in this universe that you could live on. Planets that are habitable for the Argorians, so why planet Earth? Why a planet filled with so many people? We are a race that thrives on conquering lesser species, and we do it strategically. We are not like common invaders where we fly out from a ship and start murdering. We spread ourselves around the planet, and once enough members of our race are in areas, then we start killing and taking into a few slaves to help build our empire. Okay, I'll admit that's a pretty genius idea, but why deprive 7 billion people from their journey of life? Do these human beings deserve to have a species like yours take over their land? Why not live on Mars? There's nobody there, just abandon the formal invasion and live in peace. It's what I'm trying to do. But we are not like you. We don't care for other species but our own. Fine. I tried negotiating, but that's obviously not working, so I have to go with plan B, and that means... I'm going to stop you by any means necessary. <laughs> Ignorant Orsillian. You think you can defeat the Argorians? You have no idea on our strength. Funny, because I never said I was actually going to murder you, but if everything fails, I won't be afraid to get rid of your race. Not unless we strike first! <sighs> Not again. <sighs> Ugh. Water all over my face, great. Wait, before you shoot, I want to remind you of one thing. Did they tell you that I was also equipped with weaponry of my own? Let's just say... A bow and arrow! <laughs> my chest! Great. Now it's sealed behind bars. I need to find a way to stop them before it's too late. But the problem is, how can I reach every single Argorian in this world before it's too late and they breed? Report! I have been wounded with arrows. Liam Catterson has made his threats clear. Now is the time to strike. I am outputting all of our current resources into the second fleet so it can come quicker. We cannot delay. Conquest is a must! Oh, alien waste tracking. Wait, I thought I told you to go. I couldn't leave you behind. I know you told me to go, but I want to follow you. To make sure you're alright. At the moment I am, but those Argorian creatures are going to invade the world. They plan to silently take over by impersonating a lot of people in different countries and a second fleet is coming. So I need to find access to the main base of operations to see if uh, there's some quick way to get rid of these creatures and make sure... The world's yeah, safe. I just seen her. She looked exactly like me. Wait a minute. I'm going to see that person over there. Excuse me. Did I just hear you right? You just said that you just saw someone that looked exactly like you. Yes, she had the same hairstyle, face, and even clothes as me. Where did you last see her? Under the bridge next to the abandoned pizza shop. Thank you. I am coming with you. The plan has been set. Catterson and a female have gone under the bridge. The pizza shop is just up there. Thank you. Nobody's there. But the door is open. That is nothing usual. You mean it's always shut? Yeah, the council for the shop to shut like two years ago because they kept making people ill with their meals. Shall we look inside? Best to. Hello? Is anyone in here? I am Liam Catterson. This is my friend. Friend? Shh. I'm just trying to help out. I mean no harm no matter what your peers have said. Just let me be there. Liam, is that... Yes, it's Gus. They're putting us to sleep. Get out! Oh my god! I think... I think it's time for our nap. <sighs> Jade! Oh, Jesus, two sleeps in the space of 24 hours. I'm not gonna get some sleep for a long time. Probably a year. How convenient. Same place, but it seems like a bit more... decorated. Like a prison. 
Except I'm sure they don't put handcuffs on you behind bars. Is anyone there? Just me. The two Argonians you were fooled by are outside, posing as builders. One of them was female. So you must be the leader. As much as your Agorian kind hate me, I am trying to achieve- Silence! I know your plans, and you cannot possibly manipulate me into thinking you are doing some good. All you are trying to do is deny us our right. Your rights? How is murdering the planet just so you can put your feet up right? You know too well that our tradition is to take over planets and kill whoever is on our planet. Ever since the first year of the Universal War, you know we've been looking for the habitated planet so we can take for our own. Making our tradition for conquest persistent. But planet Earth is one of the most populated planets nearby. So we sought to take this planet and become more comfortable with this place. Then you should know me then. You should know that I do not allow this kind of travesty to happen. Earth is already handling a crisis of its own. Don't add insult to injury. Liam, Liam, Liam. Do you think you're going to consider the lives of the puny? We were bred for this purpose. To silently but brutally destroy opposing species. We understand the Inquisition of planet Earth may be tough, but once all of our fleets have dropped off, our brothers and sisters, we can begin our takeover. You're not going to begin anything but the long grief of retreat because you're not going to take control of this planet ever. I know it may be hard for you to swallow the fact that empty planets are dull, but you could do so much more from a fresh start. You could be like humans, living on Mars and building a bigger civilized species on a bigger planet. Did that ever not occur to you? What happens once you've taken control of planet Earth and killed every human? We were bred and spun across the galaxy until we fought off every single species to become the only species to exist in this universe. Like I said, there is little hope for success as long as I'm here. Taking the fact that you are currently vulnerable, the last of your kind, locked away and forced to watch planet Earth die and reform as the new world for the Argonian race, every single human on this planet will be slaughtered. Spare a few who will treat us as their new masters. They will respect our beliefs and our way of life, and they will hail their new overlords. And what about Sarah? She will die after you watch Earth suffer. After all, since we are trying to kill you mentally before we do physically, it is best for you to watch the world break, alongside the woman you care deeply for. Katie, I don't even know her! Is that right? Well, I guess she can die first. Don't you dare do it! I knew it. A fiction for the one you love. I love her like I love every single life form in this universe. You're not going to kill anyone and I swear that on my life. You love the people of this universe? <laughs> you can't be serious. This is the same man who was with Big Boss during the Universal War. You are the same person who nearly destroyed the universe. Yet you care for this universe. I only did what I thought was right! The Risers, they nearly wiped out the entire universe through their barbaric means and I tried to wipe out the universe so that people on planet Earth would no longer have to suffer! You don't have to remind me about the events because I've just escaped the war myself. Just... The Universal War just finished for me. I blew everything up. My people, the ones I loved and all Risers gone. I had a choice, to let the universe suffer a slow and painful death, or to try and give everyone ultimate peace. I chose the latter, and I thought, like everyone else, that the universe would end, but alas, I am still alive. And that is why I am locked away right now, because you idiots won't understand I am trying to be the hero, the man who makes people see common sense! Do you believe me and my race can be influenced by some pathetic story, how the world was destroyed? You? 
The takeover's success is more potent due to the fact you stumbled upon us at the same time. I guess we now have another excuse to take over the Earth. To make you endure torment. Tell all members on the fleet to wait in their shuttle. I am on my way. I am so sorry to end our entertaining debate about how your words will never belittle mine. But I am sure when you hear the screams of the innocent beings slaughtered, you will realize how sincere I was. Now I must dash. Got to get the party started. Goodbye! Liam? Sarah! Are you handcuffed too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Was that those alien creatures? A distinctive Argorian, their leader, and now he's going to get their arriving crowd warmed up for their invasion. The third fleet is coming. So how are we going to escape? Well, I am no master of escaping handcuffs. But if I just try harder... Ah, no. Nothing. Actually, I have an idea, but it involves a lot of moving. What are you doing? Uh, Well, since my arms are tied behind me and the new unit is in my trouser pocket, I thought maybe I could try and get it to work so it can free me. Uh, 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 It worked! Now me. Nah, I was just going to leave you lying here. So aliens do have a sense of sarcasm. Of course. Actually, before you make your way out the door, there are two Argorian creatures out there. One of them was the one who trapped us here in the first place. You mean when that woman says she saw someone who looked like herself? Yeah. Now I'm going to stun them for a very long time. Throw that piece of wood out the window. It should catch their attention. If you can, that is. It's a bit high. Okay, here I go. I didn't know you were a fighter. You may want to find the word fighter. Now, you grab that one and I'll grab the other. And we'll lock them in the cell. Should hold them off until they figure out how to break free. Now I guess you can follow me. Really? I thought... Well, you made it this far. I guess a little assistance wouldn't hurt so much. We need to find their main base of operations. These creatures seem to morph into their victims with little effort. To do that, they need a main hub to regulate all their bodies at once. Is there some kind of massive river in Durham? Yeah, there is. Follow me. I'll take you there. The neural unit should be doing that. Must be some extreme amount of activity below us. Sarah? I am coming with you. I've stuck by you most of the day and I am not leaving you at this moment of time. You have a lot of courage. Come on then, I guess. The electronic feeds are more intense. This must be their main base of operations. It seems large enough. Hey, a door and sewers. Who else would have a deadlock door stopping us from access? We just get this working via the controls. Almost there. And here we go! It worked! Took a bit of effort getting into the wires, but I got there in the end. Now let's explore further. Ah, I was right. Holy, we could benefit from this technology. How long has this been underground? For at least a year, I assume. With the Agorian leader wanting to connect the smaller stations to the main base of operations so he could feed information to the incoming fleets, and this is where the jackpot is. Hey! A big red button? Big red buttons are so fascinating. Have you ever been tempted to push a big red button? Yeah, but these are alien creatures. Who knows what the red button can do? It could blow up the world, if anything. No, they wouldn't do that otherwise they wouldn't invade Earth. Besides, they would never blow up planets. Surprisingly, it's an act of terrorism according to them, funnily enough. 
Well, I have my shock out of the day. Bad aliens who don't approve in blowing up planets. Hold on, I'm going to see what this button does. By scanning it, of course. Oh, big mistake! Something the matter? Well, now we have the higher ground. This button is their greatest asset, but their greatest weakness too. This button turns all the Argorians into their natural form, their alien appearance. Reason why I say to keep for them is because if an Argorian commits a crime, for example, say murdering one of their own with no confession, the leader can put the Argorians at risk and expose them all, all at once, to locate the criminal. Should I have the nerve to push the button? And then the Argorians are at risk of being slaughtered. Wait, you wouldn't... I just have to tune into the leader's frequency. Liam, you wouldn't kill them all, would you? Well, they're not going to respond. It's going to be kill or be killed. Come on! I... I don't think this is you. A master of genocide? Sarah, please. I'll find a civil way. Brothers and sisters, we stand ready to take over this world. Once the Four Fleet has descended onto this planet, we shall start taking humanity out. And there will be no man alive that can stop us. Now that, I may have to argue. <laughs> You're supposed to be handcuffed in a cell. Well, I've always been the type of person who preferred chains. Now, I've persuaded you guys fairly to leave this planet and find another planet free from any species living there. And you guys denied me, so I'm gonna ask again, but this time, I've got an ultimatum. So you guys can leave this planet and go to Mars, Jupiter, Arizotto, the list could go on. Or I could expose you to the world, and the people freak out, your men and women start going crazy, and BAM! The army comes, takes out your friends, and your plan of global domination ends with fewer numbers. Leave, or I expose you to the world and your plan turns into a fatal backfire. It's fairly simple. I didn't want to use this method, but I cannot risk the people of this world being slain by monsters who don't care if innocents perish. Who want to butcher a race just for their own greed. You wouldn't. Are you seriously assuming I would not do it? I guess you've not learned anything from our encounter. Does the Universal War not ring any bells at all? It should, because like you've detailed, your kind hated my race for destroying your planet, but I could do something far more appalling. Wipe out a species. I don't want to do it, but if it means stopping a race of tyrants from conquering a species that has done nothing wrong to harm yours, I will take my chances. I want to be a hero, and if that means the genocide of a species, I'm willing to accept that option. So, shall I give it a test run? Stop! All Argonian forces, assemble to our formation point. Teleport back to the two shuttle. All shuttles heading to the direction of Earth, head back. We are aborting. Bad leader. Just do it! We know this, Carterson. This is not going to be the last time we encounter. Me and my brothers and sisters will remember this day. I remember how you cost us the chance to live to our traditions. <laughs> The Argonians will have their revenge on you. Yep. That's what they all say. So, how come they gave up? They may be filled with bloodlust, but they're not stupid. They know with two or three ships, conquering humanity the way they need to wouldn't be feasible. They either risked having their full species wiped out through not thinking straight, or they take my advice and move on. They always think logically, which is why I threw the ultimatum. So what, you would not have done it if they thought you were bluffing? The sad thing is, I would have done it. I'm not fully recovered from the past, but they'd have to be pretty stupid to accept a chance at risk exposure. So as soon as I reached their main base of operations, I knew this would end one way. And that has been achieved. Earth is safe for another day. It's ready. So what are you going to do now, Liam? 
Liam, where are you? My ship, my home, she's finally repaired. Now, let's see what you made of this time. Wow. You just look beautiful. My ship looks beautiful. I have to test her out. It's been a while. Liam, is that you? Sarah! Sorry about the mad rushing off earlier. I just noticed that my ship repaired itself and I just had to test her out, just in case. And yes, before you ask, I did fit some new uniform on and I really love it, don't you? But you left me. I know, sorry about the rushing off, like I said, but this is the first time that I've had the pleasure of seeing my ship restore itself. And for the first time in many years, I get the chance to freely roam around the universe, but it didn't take me long to get back here. But I waited. You waited a good what? Six hours if I'm judging the sky? Not six hours, six months! Uh, oh, rats. Uh, that may have been my ship. I thought I was dreaming when I met you. And then you suddenly left. I thought that you were nothing but fiction. I was hoping you brought me along in your adventures, but as soon as your ship disappeared, I lost hope. Well, you need not lose hope anymore. Besides, I have to give you the grand tour first. After you. Are you serious? I can look in your ship? A question. Just live for this moment. This is your chance to have a look at life in a dramatic turn to what humanity usually deals with. Go ahead. So, what do you say? The past, the present, the future? Different galaxies, species and adventures? You're offering me this chance now? Of course! I've changed my decision. I feel like taking someone aboard in time and space is something that I could benefit from now. One thing I never forgot was that you said you were in great pain. That was one of the reasons you didn't take me on board or even stick around. I still am. And I don't think this pain is ever going to go away, if I'm honest. But that doesn't excuse me for being alone forever, because at some point I'm going to need someone to keep me in check whilst I travel about. I mean, since you were the first face these eyes saw in my new chapter, and because you were so friendly, that's why I'm offering you this chance. You were so calm about the idea, and I thought that I need a caring person to keep me alive on my dark days. So what do you say? How dangerous is it? It's more dangerous than the human mind could experience. I'm not going to stand here begging for you to join, I'm just leaving the option for you to decide on. To show how grateful I am of your company. You're not just taking me so you can show off your universal saving skills. Not all of my adventures consist of facing enemies. I can take you to any time period you want, and nobody will even notice you're gone. Hell, I could bring you back ten minutes before you left the present day. At the end of the day, I'm just offering you a chance that no ordinary human being will be able to experience, but it's optional. A boring life on planet Earth repeating the same schedule 
every single day, this is an adventure of a lifetime with a stranger in time and space. You are on. One thing though, Liam, another memory that has stuck by me is what you said to that alien thing six months ago. You said there was a universal war, that you blew up everything. Was that the reason you were originally denying me a chance to tag along with you? I did ask if I could hang about with you, and you declined. Yeah. When the time comes, I'll go more in depth about that time. But I shouldn't let a dark period of life infect this happy moment. We have a whole universe to explore, so on that note... Sarah Penelope, welcome aboard the Orbis. Goodbye, life of misery. Hello, universe of mystery. One of his people that I had to spawn, it had to be the person that I hate so much. And I guess that when my project is 100% complete, I will kill him and the people he cares for so much. This is no threat, this is a promise. Liam Callison and his new friend will have it done one last time. And that will be the same day I stand over Liam's broken body, achieving my dream. In the first chapter, Liam Caddison was played by Liam Caddison. Sarah Penelope was played by Bella McCatty. The Argorian leader was played by Ian Michel Pabito. The Argorians were played by Ian Smith and Liam Caddison. Jody Garrett was played by Brianna Gardner. The disguised Argorian and rescued female was played by Caddy Madama. Female 2 was played by Tina Digesti. This story was written by Liam Caddison. Next time on the Caddison Chronicles. So, where does he want to go? We need to recover a body, humanoid, but beyond human capabilities. We accepted this mission and had no idea what could be the threat. We said something isn't right. Nobody told us it was going to be a kidnapping machine. What are you? You destroyed us! The Universal War. How the hell did you survive? So this is why you decided to kill them all. You're going to put the whole universe's health at stake. You will all be eliminated. You should have died!